cloudy morning, everyone. It's Monday, and I'm running solo. Not quite, though. Not quite. Jess might be at home, but I'm still going to have a passenger for part of the time. Today, anyway. The dispatch called me today morning going, Hey, are you running solo today, or is Jess with you? And I'm like, running solo? He just goes, can you do me a favor? We've got a driver in Grand Forks that needs a ride to Slocan, South Slocan. I'm like, sure. Called the other driver, told him I'd be in Grand Forks at about 10, 15, 10, 20, and he's gonna meet me at Cal Tire and I'll give him a ride. Unloaded here in uh, OK Falls first thing in the morning. Not quite first thing in the morning. I arrived and there's another truck in front of me. Um, when I called Friday, he said there could be two trucks in front of me, but there's only the one, so. He said, as soon as this first truck is unloaded to pull in, and just as I was about to pull in, here comes another truck, and he was so angry. Man, did he have a temper. He ripped the chipping guy a new, new one, telling him, I thought you said there were no other trucks, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, when you called, there were no other trucks. But then I called Friday evening saying, hey, I'll be coming as well, so. But the chipper had told the other truck driver to be there at 6.30 in the morning if he wanted to be unloaded at 7. He showed up at 7.30, wanting to be unloaded immediately. I showed up 10 to, 10 to 7 and I had to wait about 40 minutes to get unloaded. No biggie. If you are in this business and you are not willing to hurry up and wait, you're in the wrong business. I get frustrated every now and then too when you have to wait there for two or three hours. But it does happen. I might be frustrated. You still can't lose your temper and it's like, if you're gonna do that, the chipper has the right to ban you from the property in a lot of places. I would recommend treating the chipper with a little more respect. They might not only just ban you, they might ban your company if it's bad enough. They've done that before. It's a very light, light rain, which means the roads are very slippery off you off the main roads. The main highway here, not bad at all. Nice, nice road. But I drove to the side there too in OK Falls up their little hill there and I was just spinning the tires. It's like, you can do it, keep the momentum, keep the momentum. Just made it to the top without spinning out. It's just this ice rain, just this little bit of rain and it's freezing on the road. So Anarchist and uh, E. Holt and Paulson should be fun. And then Kootenai. So I'm doing four passes today? I'm doing four passes today, so. Yeah, I'm doing Anarchist, E. Holt, Paulson, and Kootenai Pass. I'm bypassing Bombay. I take a different route so I don't have to take Bombay. Well, I guess I still have to take the um, Apex Pass over there, south of Nelson. So, it's really five passes, but the Apex Summit isn't too bad. It's just like E-Holt isn't too bad. But Anarchist, Paulson, and Kootenai. Kootenai, especially Kootenai, might be slippery. I'll be doing that one later on in the day. This guy in front of us is going just below the speed limit. It was a great weekend. I was actually home all of Saturday and all of Sunday. That rarely happens because I was unloading in OK Falls and it's pretty cold outside and my bunk heat's not working properly. I figure I'll just leave today morning from home instead of Sunday evening.
I mean, it cost me an extra hour because I did that. If I had slept in OK Falls and pulled in first thing there, I could have got on duty as they started unloading me, right? So it did cost me an hour of off-duty time. I'm going to Ericsson. I'm loading a KIW going to Ericsson. That hour is not going to really hurt me. I should still have no problem making it to my destination. We're just pulling into Osoyas. Turn left on Crow's Nest Highway. Crow's Nest Highway. I can't. I don't know why the government cannot say Crow's Nest. How hard is that to pronounce? Maybe if it was two separate words, it would say it better. But Garmin always says Crow's Nest. So right now we're on 97 South, and we're going to turn out to Highway 3 East here. Stay in the left lane here. People are always so indecisive here where the lane splits up. Red light, they're both turning as well. Darn. Turn left at the traffic light. That's okay. Otisoyas is a passing lane. We'll see if he's faster or slower, me, slower than me going up the hill. I have to fill up my top off my washer fluid and the amount of juice I'm using. I'm going to stop at Salmo too and get some more washer fluid. pick up some other supplies like some air fittings uh, two straps highway so washer fluid air fittings two straps and maybe a pack of like 10 bungees I use my bungees until they break been going through quite a bit so Quite a few have got dry rot. And since we have to get all the stuff approved when we sign stuff out from dispatch, might as well get a whole bunch of stuff that I know I'm gonna all need. Carrying air fittings has been just so, so nice. Turn right on Krausnest Highway. Two times in the last, what, month, month and a half? Two times I would have been out of service. And I could just fix it on the side of the highway. Last time it took me 10 minutes to just cut the hose, put the air fitting on, and away I went. Instead of being out of service for two or three hours waiting for a tow truck, 10 minutes to fix it myself and go. Highway. Continue on the road. Sun's out, it's just really thick layer clouds, so I have a feeling we're going to be going through thick fog again as we get up the Anarchist here. Uh, I got an RV in front of us. He is stopping. Maybe there's pedestrian crossing. No, he's just turning. Okay. That uh, fountain's pretty cool. It is frozen. They must have turned it off. Fr 
frozen fountain. It's quite the pile of ice underneath it. That's kind of neat. Warmest place in Canada, right here. Warmest lake in Canada. I'm definitely spoiled for lakes now. I find every lake cold except for this one. have to come complete stop still in fifth gear not a lot of logs on that one they must be heavy Dairy Queen. For some reason that just seems really good right now. My aunt's snow level looks pretty low coming up in those mountains, so that should be a fun climb. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here. If all something cool happens, I'll hit record if I can get there in time. Hopefully these roads aren't too icy. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Should be a good day. Should be a good day.